this is Dario's envisioned endgame. The U.S. Mm -hmm. gets there first. It has a dominant enough lead that it uses global pressure to extract these concessions asymmetrically. I am fairly skeptical of this, but I'm curious what you think happens at that point if China won't concede. Oh, I, th I think there's so many problems with that scenario. First of all, it is creating a racing dynamic both with the U.S. and with China. And just more bad stuff can happen, even if inadvertently, as was pointed out in this recent paper by uh, several people, Dan Hendricks, Eric Schmidt, and Alexander Wang. Once you get close to AGI or superintelligence, if one side seems to be clearly ahead, the other side has a strong incentive to play rough. You know, actual bombing data centers or serious cyber. So it's destabilizing in that way. And then I just think to imagine that we like masterfully calibrate this ascent to dominance and then like turn on a dime and do exactly the right diplomatic stuff to get China to peacefully concede is just naive in the extreme. I don't doubt that Dario is super smart in his realm of expertise, but I just think it's mind-blowingly naive.